Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Animal Crossing. My name is Austin and in this Animal Crossing video I'm going to show you how to tell if art is real or fake. Make sure to watch the video until the end because I'm going to reveal every single piece of artwork that is in the game with a side-by-side -side comparison so that you'll know if the art that you are currently looking at right now is real or not. And feel free to come back to this video anytime that you want, or whenever Red visits your island. And to make finding this video much easier, consider subscribing to the channel and like the video. Now, let's get right into it. Alright guys and girls, welcome to the slideshow. I thought this would be a lot easier of a way for us to spot the difference between the real art and the fake art. So, let's get right into it. And uh, up first we have the famous painting. And this one's pretty easy to tell the difference. As you can see right here, if you see uh, pointy eyebrows, that means the painting is fake. And if you see these normal eyebrows, then that means the painting is real. Next we have the Jolly Painting, and uh, for this one right here, if you don't see this little weed, see this weed right here? If you don't see the weed, that means the painting is fake. And if you see the weed on the, the little, I guess it's kind of like a person, it's like a person made out of straw. But if you see the weed uh, inside the person made out of straw, that means it's real. And now we have the Wistful Painting. And uh, for this one right here, what you want to pay attention to is the little earrings. If you see a star for an earring, that means it's fake. And if you see like this little circular earring, that means the painting is real. Now we have the wild painting. And for this one in particular, if you see a lighter uh, warrior monkey looking thing, if it's like a light uh, color, that means it's fake. And if you see like the darker color, that means it's real. And now we have the amazing painting. And uh, what you want to look for for the amazing painting is you want to pay attention to this guy right here in the middle. If he's not wearing a black hat, that means it's fake. And if he is wearing the black hat, that means the painting is real. And now we have the academic painting and I feel, I think this one is so hilarious because Red is trying to sell a painting with a coffee stain on it. That's what this is. It's like a coffee stain. So if you see a painting with a coffee stain, obviously it's fake. And if you see, you know, the painting without the coffee stain, obviously is real. I'm not sure why Red would want to sell a painting with a coffee stain. That kind of blows my mind, but I mean, he is Red. He is the sketchy black market fox. So it does make sense why he would sell a painting with, you know, the coffee stain. I just think that's so hilarious. And now we have the scary painting. And for this one right here, um, what you want to pay attention to, again, is the eyebrows. If you see eyebrows that are kind of weird looking, they're kind of arching up, that means the painting is fake. And if you see like the eyebrows, you know, they look pretty normal and there's nothing weird about them, that means it's real. And now we have the moving painting. And uh, for this one, what you want to pay attention to is these trees in the background. If you don't see trees in the background, that means the painting is fake. And if you do see trees in the background, that means the painting is real. And now we are at the solemn painting. And for this one in particular, you want to pay attention to this guy right here in the background. Um, if you, you want to pay attention to his arm. If you see his arm arching up right here, that means the painting is fake. And if his arm isn't arching, that means the painting is real. And now we are at the detailed painting. Uh, for this one right here, if you see purple, if the detail painting is purple, that means it's fake. And if you see blue for the detail painting, that means the painting is correct. It is real. You are good to go. Go ahead and buy it. And now we are at the graceful painting. And for this one right here, the fake version is going to be the bigger one. If you see the woman uh, taking up uh, you know, all the canvas, that means the painting is fake. Uh, the real version, the woman is much, much smaller. 
And now we are at the quaint painting. And for this one right here, what you want to pay attention to is this little uh, this little teapot looking thing. Uh, if you see a lot of water coming out of it, that means the painting is fake. And if you see like a little bit of water coming out of it, that means the painting is real. And now we are at the scenic painting. And uh, for this one right here, if you see two men, right? If you see two men, then you're good to go. Go ahead and buy it. It's real. Now, if you see like one person right here, that means it's fake. So that's like the real difference. You'll see like this man and his uh, his little uh, his um, two dogs slash fox looking things. If you see that, that means it's real. And if you don't see that, that means it's fake. And now we are at the basic painting. And uh, for this one right here, what you want to pay attention to is the guy's hair. As you can see, uh, the real difference is the hair. And the fake version, the bangs will be a lot fuller. He'll have fuller hair for the fake version. And the real version, he will have less hair. And now we are at the serene painting. And for this one right here, you want to pay attention to the little duck that she's holding. Uh, the real version, uh, the duck is all one color. It's white. And for the fake version, the duck is like multicolored. So this one's fake right here, and this one's real. Okay, so now that we know how to spot fake paintings, we're going to go to the statues. And we're going to learn how to spot the fake statues. Alright everyone, so now that we covered the paintings, let's cover the statues. And our first statue that we are going to spot the difference is the informative statue. And uh, for this one right here, if you see a blue informative statue, that means it's fake. And if you see a black one, that means it's real. And now we are at the motherly statue. And for this one right here, what you want to pay attention to is the face. If you see uh, the, the tongue sticking out of the wolf, that means it's fake. And if you see uh, you know, the wolf without the tongue sticking out, that means it's real. And next up we have the rock headed statue and for this one right here if you see uh, the statue's face kind of smiling at you that means it's fake. Uh, you want to look for the face being neutral and not smiling that means it's real. Alright guys so now we're at the gallant statue and I'm going to have to block out this guy's little pee pee right here so this is going to be blurred out when you see this video but uh, anyway what you want to look for is this book right here. If you see the gallant statue holding a book that means it's fake and the real version uh, the gallant statue will not be holding the book. And now we are at the robust statue and for this one right here, uh, what you want to pay attention to is the arm. If you see the statue wearing a wristwatch, that means it's fake. And if you don't see a wristwatch on the statue, that means it's real. And now we are at the mystic statue and for this one right here, if you see like this long earring looking thing, that means it's fake. And if you don't see uh, that long earring, that means it's real. And now we are at the ancient statue. And for this one right here, uh, if you see like antennas popping out of the statue, that means it's fake. And the real statue doesn't have any antennas popping out of it. And now we are at the warrior statue. And uh, for this one right here, if you see like the warrior statue holding a shovel, that means it's fake. And uh, if you don't see the statue uh, holding a shovel, that means it's real. And now we are at the Tremendous statue, and for this one right here, if you see like this little lid uh, thing with a handle, that means it's fake. And if you don't see that, if you don't see like a, a lid with a handle on the Tremendous statue, that means it's real, you're good to go, go ahead and purchase it. And next we are at the Valance statue, and for this one right here, if you see the leg, um, if you see the left leg uh, forward, that means it's fake. Uh, you want to see the right leg, the right leg forward, that means it's real. And now we are at the beautiful statue. And for this one right here, what you want to pay attention to is, uh, you see like these lines on the statue right here? If you see the, the lines on the statue, and the statue looks like it's wearing like a necklace, uh, don't get it, that means it's fake. The real version doesn't have any necklaces or any lines on it. All right guys, so that is the difference between the fake uh, statues and the real statues. 
Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just play all the pieces of art that will always be real and always be genuine. Um, so before we go ahead and do that, if you thought this video was helpful, uh, go ahead and give it a like because that helps me out a lot. And um, if you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more Animal Crossing videos, then consider subscribing. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and roll uh, all the arts that are always going to be genuine. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.